Hi, my name is Brandon, and uh, I'm one of the, uh, I guess, guild officers here uh, for the game's massive online open course. Now, I'm here to show you around a little bit, because uh, the platform we're using is actually uh, Shifter, which is a guild site. Now, up top, you're going to have your navigation, uh, which is real easy to take a look at. Uh, and then you have right and left panels. So I'm going to go over the right and left panels first. I'll go over the left one first over here. So uh, up top, you've got a little bit of recruitment information. Um, down below that, uh, you have an area for uh, who's won all the different awards, which I'll go over later. Below that, you've got information on uh, Cognitive Dissonance, which is a WoW Educators Guild. And at the bottom, you've got stats for uh, the guild site. Now, on the right-hand side over here, uh, at the bottom, you've got information on time. Uh, you've got all the newest members. Above that, you've got a Twitter feed with uh, information about uh, games-based learning as well as uh, everything relevant to uh, the online course and above that you've got something that's pretty cool a little bit of a slideshow of all the images people have shared uh, in the course and up top uh, you have a box to log in so if you haven't already uh, you can click create an account to create your account and request access to the community uh, of course there's information to how to retrieve your password uh, and uh, unlock info for uh, making sure that you have access to everything so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and and log in real quick here. Wonderful. Uh, now in the center panel you're gonna see uh, everything that is important information. Right now it's a, a welcome message. Uh, got a lot of good uh, information as far as links and everything like that. Uh, nice YouTube video down here at the bottom and then uh, a link to how to get started. Now uh, one of the important things about an open course is feeling free to participate in whatever way you choose. Uh, so there's a list of a few of the different ways you can uh, come in and participate with the class, but uh, you know, you're welcome to participate in any fashion that you would like. So what I'm going to do is uh, show you what all the different things up top are, all the different links, uh, and then at the end what I want to do is show you a little bit about how to personalize your profile. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click Getting Started, which is the same link we saw here in the center panel. So if I go to Getting Started, um, the left and right panels, as you can see, left and right panels, uh, stay the same. And that'll be on pretty much every page you go to. Uh, now again, here's a welcome message, a little bit of an overview of what we're doing, uh, a couple of links to uh, tasks for this week. Uh, and you know down at the bottom uh, is suggestions for good progress things that will help you um, make sure you're getting the most out of the course um, now if I go back up top here you can see under week one a, a few different things have appeared so not only is there getting started but there's also a course overview uh, if we go in here you get a link to the guild council and officers you get a purpose for the course, you get to see a schedule of what we're looking at, uh, all the synchronous meetings that we are going to be holding, as well as different course activities that you can participate in. Uh, now on the right hand side you can also see um, there's a link to the Guild Council. If you go ahead and click there uh, you can see the different officers as well as the Council. And uh, one of the most important things here is actually the activities. Uh, this is where you're going to find an overview of what we're doing during the week. Uh, it's got links to all the different um, things that we're going to be doing, as well as resources. So, um, you know, there's things like a slide share, a bunch of different games to play, sites, there's video, blogs. Um, so make sure you keep an eye out for uh, new updated information, as well as uh, keep track of what's going on during the week. Now, I'm going to do this a little bit out of order, um, just because there's a few parts that are really easy to look at, as well as a few parts that I, I feel are integral and, and deserve a little more time. So what I'm going to do is go back up to the top here, and I'm going to click on Awards. Now Awards, we looked later, there's an Awards widget here that lists everybody who's won them. But if you go to Awards, you can actually click on an award, 
uh, and see the description of, of how one might win that award. So um, this is one of the, the novel features that we have here on uh, Shifter that we would not have on a traditional uh, learning management system. So uh, take a look at these awards, read them, and, and if you'd like to participate in that way by trying to win awards, uh, please feel free. Uh, now up next, I'm going to go back up top here and click on journals. Now, journals are pretty much exactly what they sound like, um, except a lot of people keep private journals. These are uh, public to, at the very least, um, members of the community. So um, keep that in mind. But to use a journal, you can just click Add Journal Entry. Put in your title, put in your text, uh, whatever you'd like to, uh, and then you've got formatting options here. So um, you know you can use everything from uh, regular formatting. You can insert links, you can do images, videos, um, other different items, and um, even change colors and everything. So there's quite a few options here. Once you're done, you can just click Post. If you want to preview what everything looks like, go ahead and hit Preview. Now if I go back up top, I'm going to take a look at media now. Um, I like media because uh, it's a collection of basically all the different media that people have included um, or contributed to the course. Now um, when you mouse over, um, there should be a thing for either video or um, images. And so what I'm going to do is um, right now, uh, I am on the images area and so you can see there's different categories these are all added by um, looks like uh, uh, Lee Dale's illustrator class and so um, these are a few different images for that and then there's some uncategorized images as well uh, now uh, there's also a link for video so make sure that um, if there's any videos that you haven't gotten to, to take a look at um, this is a, a great repository to find them now up next I'm going to go ahead and, and click on events and events is uh, a calendar of what's going on so uh, I believe a lot more of the events are going to be added uh, in the future uh, but right now we've got uh, the start of the online course so uh, keep an eye out here for anything um, that uh, might be upcoming roster uh, not particularly uh, interesting if I go ahead and click on it it gives you members as well as you can select uh, what ranks you want to look at so uh, you've got a list of everybody who's currently in here um, I'm hoping this is gonna um, grow so uh, we do have a lot of people looking forward to this um, one of the very important things here uh, up top that we can look at is community news um, if you go here the community news is also uh, shared on the home page at the bottom um, but community news is a good place to start and take a look. Uh, now we've got one post here. It's a, just a hello, welcome, and um, kind of giving you an idea of what's going on. So um, keep an eye out for um, updates and everything there. Now one of the most important parts of uh, any online course is definitely the forums. So that's where we're going to go next is the forums. Uh, and if you take a look in here, uh, you've got a variety of different topics already. Um, here in the gatehouse you have uh, information about the council and officers. Um, you have a topic for introducing yourself to the guild. Uh, if we go down just a little bit here, uh, you've got a lot of different uh, places to uh, interact with everything. Um, you got everything from, you know, what is your quest? What games do you play? Um, what have you already integrated into your class? And, and what else do you want? Uh, go down a little bit more information about uh, pardon me topics about um, all the different games for week one um, keep going you've got um, uh, quite a few different forums here that you can take a look at and all you have to do I'm gonna go back up top here click on guild council and officers and here you can see you've got uh, you know, a few different topics from uh, guild officers and, and the council. And what you can do is, if you find a topic you're interested in, uh, just go ahead and click on the link for it. And then from there, you can read the original post. Uh, you can continue down a little bit, look at the replies. You can vote people's messages up or down. Um, so we've got a, you know, a system for voting 
uh, on good comments uh, or voting on bad comments. You can quote people um, and you can also add a reply. Just click add a reply and uh, this text box should look familiar. It's the same exact one we saw before. You can either preview it or post it uh, once you're done. Now, another important part about an online course is uh, including a sense of community and you can do that uh, by going to my account. If you click on my account over here in uh, the login box, uh, you have the ability to upload a picture for your avatar um, you can create a display name if you want to be known by something else. Uh, you should be able to see what role you're in, what rank you are, and then you can also add a signature for uh, when you post in the forums. Um, if you click on Shifter account up top here, it brings you to um, your main Shifter account information. And if you go to your profile, uh, you can uh, enter a nickname, put in uh, gender and birthday information, where you're from, I include a website, and one thing I encourage people to do is um, enter information about yourself in your about uh, space down here. You can also include information about instant messaging if you'd like to, um, but do remember that there is a, a chat feature um, for uh, Shifter. So the last one is notifications, and it's just if you want to receive emails for different events that occur in the course. So uh, that's about, you know, all there is to Shifter. I mean, if there are any questions, uh, feel free to ask them in the forums or, or um, in messages. So uh, good luck and have fun.